Hey guys, it's uh, iPod Touch 2G Reviews, and this is my review of the Rebel Touch. I'm sorry that it's backwards, the words, but you know, uh, I'm using my webcam, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, I got the Arctic one just because, wait, let me just, uh, because I heard that the black one mushes up a lot. So let me just open this up. I have used this. I just put it back in the original packaging. Um, it does come with quite amount of stuff. Comes with a uh, universal dock, two anti-static screen protectors, a video stand, a connector protector, and a microfiber, which is right here. Here's a 3.5 millimeter jack. Just put this right here so you can see it. The the dock that works with the case on a a movie stand so you can like you know watch your videos and whatnot. So yeah. Let me put on the keys. Sorry, it's kind of low. That's just my webcam. And I'm kind of tired. So, yeah, it's a two. If you don't know what the um, Rebel Touch is, it's a um, two piece hybrid case. Um, this is the acrylic part. This is a. Uh, rubber kind of silicone-ish it's not silicone because it doesn't really attract land but it's kind of a rubber kind of plastic whatever um so yeah let me put my iPod Touch 2G in the rubber part of the case I do have some mush up here that's one thing I don't like about it it mushes pretty easily so yeah, once I get this part, get the acrylic part. Oh, um, this case is twenty-five dollars in the Switch Easy website. So you do from top to bottom, and you just once you got the first part, you just have to like snap these these um parts into place. The spine is pretty easy it's not really that hard but you see you can see the Apple logo and it does come with two screen protectors so that's pretty good um it has a lay on the table design so I can just like you know and it had uh, it's a really really tough case it might not look like it but it has a lot of uh, shock protection this whatever this rubber is it's really nice and this um uh, spine helps it from, uh, I don't know, it helps the shock protection even more, because it's hard, so, um, it does, the lip does not affect the, um, the usage of the screen, I know what's wrong with my iPad right now, I can't even enter my code, it's kind of weird, but, um, it's something screwing up with my iPod. Well, yeah, talking about this, the um um sleep wake button is pretty easily access accessed. You don't really feel like you're pressing on anything, but you're actually pressing the button. I really can't show you right now because my iPod touch just literally just died right now. I hope I don't have to send it back to Apple because I did jailbreak it. And I lost my warranty. So I really don't want to send it back to Apple to void my warranty. Um, wait, let me just check something. Oh, yes, it doesn't work, but the sleep wake button works. So you see, it's pretty easily accessed. Um, the, so is the volume rockers. You can't see anything because, again, my iPod screwed. But trust me, it works. This one you have a more 
sorry, you have more feeling that you're actually pressing something. And the screen protectors they have are amazing. Um, they they're really they re they kind of avoid the um the fingerprints, and I really like that. I don't have it right now, and I have a lot of fingerprints as you can see. But um, yeah. Uh, the thing I like is that you can see the Apple logo and the iPod engraving and how much gigabytes it has. Um, I don't like that you can see your scratches. That's one thing I don't like. And another thing is the mushing. Uh, I actually don't have any right now. But the mushing on the sides are horrible. I cannot stress that enough. If you if you can, if you're a person that switches cases a lot, this is not the case for you, unless you mind the mushing and the um yeah the mushing and the tears and rips on these corners right here. Um, but beside that, it's once it's on, it's a really tough case. I cannot stress that enough. It's really, it has to lay on the table design as I said before. The um, movie stand, pretty good view from there. The other side, as you can see, it just lays back while you watch your movie. And that's it, really, about this case. Um, you also just witnessed me destroying my iPod somehow. Um, yeah, uh, I'll, um, this is, uh, I don't know if you know this, but this is my first case review, my first review on this channel, my first video, and I just wanted to say if you have any suggestions or comments, just leave them down in the comment below, the comment box, and I will also have a, um, video, um, Sorry, the link to get the this case in the sidebar, which is switcheasy.com, and look in the iPod Touch 2G section, and then you'll find it. It comes in a few colors: white, black, Arctic, which is the one I got, Devil Skull, um, and I think that's it. But don't quote me. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the comment box, but please don't leave any hateful comments, because, you know, this is my first review. Just leave me some, uh, helpful comments. Um, so yeah, this is my review on the iPod Touch, um, on the Rebel Touch for the iPod Touch UG. And my next video will be on the Proporta Aluminum Lined, uh, leather case. It's a flip style case, but it's pretty good. And after that, I will be reviewing the Griffin Flex Grip in black and red. I kind of like, uh, well, uh, it had some, it's cons and it's really good pros. But, um, I'll get to that in the review. And, uh, I have like around 50 subscribers right now. And I just want companies to to notice me so I can get a few. Because these are the only cases I have. I also have music skins, but, you know, I can't really review those. Um, but, yeah. Uh, these are the only cases I have right now. The Rebel Touch, before the Aluminum Mind, uh, and these two Flex Grips. But that's all I have right now. I really want the Spec. A pixel skin and anything else from spec so spec if you're watching this spec products um, I really want your products but I really don't have the money right now um, so yeah uh, it's iPod touch uh, iPod touch 2g reviews this has been the review of the rebel touch and um, peace